So today I am going to refer to a couple of videos I already posted. I said that, actually just one, I said that I was producing a project in New York for a friend and that's a narrative and then I'm producing a uh, feature film uh, documentary. So the interesting thing about being a producer, and I don't think, I don't know if I clarify this in the course that I teach. It's not really vital to know, but if you've ever lived in LA, I think you'll get a sense of it. Or if you, once you start producing, you'll notice that your projects accumulate. The things you want to do, the things you've optioned, the uh, things you're just pondering, getting into. And as you continue on with being a producer, and uh, or things that you're like, oh, I'd love to direct that. And so it's still, you know, kind of on your roster. There'll be like maybe a list of 15 things that you're producing or wanting to produce. Spike Lee has said that when he wanted to do before he got Malcolm X done, it was something he wanted to do for like a decade. And sometimes it goes like that. Sometimes there are these projects that just sit and sit and sit and sit. And then one day, something just opens up and it creates this chain reaction of things just going and going until the project is made. And that is a beautiful feeling. Other times you really kind of have to force it into reality. And that's also great too when you get that done. But basically what I have felt is I have maybe this many projects and I'll have one or two that I'm actively working on. And it'll either be the ones that I'm most interested in or that make sense for me to work on right now. Um, sometimes there'll be ones, there's one that I kept saying, I'm ready to do this, I'm ready to do this, I'm ready to do this. And the it wouldn't open up. And I'm like, okay, universe, I am going to let that sit. And when it the time is right, it will open up. And I still feel like I'm going to do it, but I'm, I don't think it's for a now. I don't think it's for a now. At the same time, there was something I could completely gave up on from like before I was even a producer. I'm not going to speak specifically on it, but oh my goodness, I, it was a nonprofit that now would make a really great film actually that I wasn't, I had put down completely because I didn't know what I was doing when I was putting together this nonprofit. And now it has kind of come wham right into the forefront. And it's not the one I'm working on now, but that will probably be the next one. Maybe like next summer it's going to be shot. I'm not sure. But I just definitely feel it's going to get done. And I had put that down and considered it dead. So I am just explaining to you the dynamics of producing. It's sort of about getting a gut instinct about what the next one should be. And if you are in a larger studio producing movies, it has to be a little bit less woo-woo than that. There needs to be more structure, but being an independent filmmaker, I do have that choice to be like, this is the one I'm putting forth now for this reason, this reason, this reason, and also it just wants to go. It's the right time. So that's how I produce a lot of the time and it seems to work for me. And that's all I'm going to talk about today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.